Red Tiger, take care. <laughs> I love doing that shit. Um, okay, so this this board is called the Red Tiger, and this is our new high performance shortboard, and it's something that I developed with John John as far as like he was riding this board called the White Tiger, which was a real stubby little fun board that he really liked. And um, he took it on a couple trips, took it on a trip to Fiji. And when he came back to Hawaii, he was riding it a lot. And he asked me if there's any way that he, he really loved the speed, the way the board just, it was really easy to get speed and keep speed. And he was hoping that we could figure out something to kind of build that into like a regular performance board that he could ride in contests um, and free surfs too, of course. But so his main thing was like, hey, I want fun and fast out of these boards, uh, this new board. And so we started working on it and he asked me first if he could just stretch out that, that board there and it would work. And it just didn't, it didn't really pan out. Like it didn't quite fit right. It was too wide in the nose, too wide in the tail for really like solid turns. Um, but basically what, what I did is I took the bottom curve based on that board, the starting point, and the which is is a pretty flat rockered board which is much flatter especially through the tail than any of our other short boards that we've made um, and it has a ton of v with like double concave v through the tail too which is something i like a more mellow like a milder version of that in a lot of my boards very mild this is a real exaggerated version and um it just helps to create like a really flat rocker through the whole bottom, especially from here to here. So in between your, your two feet, you have this big flat spot in the center of the board, which just creates a ton of speed and keeps that speed up really easily. But then having this thing curving away with the V here, and then the way that we've we got double concave through this bottom too, it lets it roll rail to rail and it lets it hold through a turn really smoothly without losing its speed. Um, so I took, I took the qualities, the bottom qualities of that white tiger, and then I had to change the outline to make it make sense. So this board has the wide points just behind center. It has more of a traditional outline, like a traditional high performance surfboard outline where it's got a pointy narrower nose, but it's still got a little extra width up here compared to some of our other models. Um, and then the tail, there's a nice, just to help break it up and loosen it up at speed. I put a little hip through the tail. I left the tail block pretty wide. Um, compared to the white tiger, it's pulled in quite a bit, but it's still pretty wide compared to a lot of our other short boards. But this hip really creates a nice little pivot point through a turn where you can hold through the turn, but you can also kind of have a little bit of extra snap off that pivot point of the hip, which is nice. It's pretty, it's pretty subtle, but it's definitely there. And um, that lets the tail pull in a little bit too. So that keeps it like so from from wanting to slide out through really hard turns, hard bottom, like if you're really pushing off the bottom, having that little bit of a pulled in tail really helps, but also having it wide enough to keep your speed up in slower waves is really nice. Um, the nose rocker I added, compared to the white tiger, I had to add quite a bit of nose rocker because that board's really flat. Um, I wanted to keep mostly the, the flatness is in the middle of the board, like I said, between your feet, but then there's curve on either end of that, a bit of curve that helps keep the board the nose free because it's got a little bit wider nose. So you want to keep a little curve through that so it's not getting too sticky. Um, that was a part that we we probably did, I would say we did 15 different versions of this board um, in the testing process with John John over about three months. And it was like board after board after board until we kind of came up with the really nice balance that, um, that he felt was really good. So. This thing is like full high performance, but it also has kind of a friendly touch to it with the extra width. Um, you go down about an inch below your normal shortboard. So like John's gone down a couple inches. His, his uh, well, I guess his normal ghost is a 6.0, his shortboard ghost basically. And this is a 6.0, but he'll also ride a 5.11 or a 5.10 version of this even. Um, for most people, I think you go about an inch below your regular board and maybe a hair wider it's got a pretty flat deck, so it keeps a lot of volume out into the rail here, but then the rail kind of fades away into a nice little, kind of a, not pinched rail, but like a tucked down rail a little bit. So it's not a real boxy feeling board. It still has a nice sensitivity to it. And um, it just has a real good flow. Like if you watch the footage, like what I always watch with John is he's riding waves this big 
and he's never losing his speed. You know, the guy's 6'2", and he weighs 190 pounds, at least when he was testing these boards, and he's keeping his speed in waves that are pretty weak and pretty small, and he can just flow from maneuver to maneuver, and that was his whole thing. He's like, I just want to carry my speed nonstop, and I really feel like we've accomplished that with this board. Um, it's something that he's going to be taking on tour this year. He's got a few of these, three or three of these in his bag. Um, and it's something that I think we'll be seeing him ride in heats. And it's just something pretty fun and pretty new for him where he's been riding all these uh, round tails and all like ghosts for the last couple of years. And this was like a new fresh approach. And one of the things I think it's really cool about it is even though he is like this top level, everybody's like, he can ride anything, he rips. But this board, I feel like, translates really well to like a really wide variety of surfers. And it's going to be something that works really well in like just average every day. It's almost like a daily driver high performance shortboard. And um, that's something that most of us kind of are looking for. It's like something that fits into a lot of people's world, you know? So hopefully we're going to see a lot of him on this this year. And I think it's something that's going to make people pretty stoked. The feedback from everybody that I've made it for. Everybody's been loving it and something that's going to kind of help you enjoy more of average waves on the day-to-day -day basis. So there it is, the Red Tiger. Go have some fun. Thank you. Cut.